Okay, hi guys, this is David. I um, wanted to go ahead and give you a little bit of uh, uh, just kind of a guide through Onyx a little bit. Um, if you're not familiar with Onyx, it's a rip that uh, handles most um, oversized printers, uh, wide format printing, and um, a few other machines as well. But for the most part, it's um, it's to print, you know, directly to a vinyl or a banner or whatever it might be. So, right now we have a uh, couple jobs that I'm getting ready to set up. And right here, this uh, the navigation is pretty basic, so even if I clicked open right now, I can show you what the process is. So, on my desktop here, <clears throat> I have these two that I just pulled in. So, you see them here. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel because I already got them right here. So, so a couple things happen. So it opens. If you look down here on the right, you see these rendering previews. This is your console. Basically, it lets you know when things are happening inside of the RIP. So you know if something's processing or not. These two had rendered previews and opened up a second window, which is this one, uh, which is the RIP, RIP Center. So, in here we have uh, two uh, prints we're going to do. Uh, first tab is the printer media type. Uh, our printer is going to be a color painter, uh, and our media group is, uh, we're going to do vivid colors. Our media name is the gloss vinyl. I have a few other options in here, but this is what we're printing on. So we're going to go ahead down here to our quality mode. Uh, we definitely have different quality modes, but this is particular for this machine and for uh, this setup. Uh, yours might look different. It might have different things being said. It might even give you more options, but this is just a general overview so you can kind of see the process. Um, so we're going to keep up with our quality here. And then we're going to go, um, actually going to leave the rest of this alone because none of that needs to be messed with. Uh, we're going to check our preview and size. Uh, we're printing at 24 inches by 31, which is, that's correct. Uh, we're just going to leave it, orientation, you can change your orientations here. You can flip it, mirror it basically, and you would have to apply those changes, but we're not doing that. Um, you can actually tile this into smaller pieces if it was necessary. Uh, for this project, it's not. Uh, color correction, you can actually go in here and adjust a little bit on your on your CMYK and actually add some filters to it, but we're just going to leave it as is. Everything looks fine. Uh, and now we're going to go to print. So we're going to go copy. We're just going to do one, and we're going to hit submit. Uh, same thing here. All of our settings is pr are pretty much the same. I'm just going to move forward and hit submit. Okay, now we're looking at the actual rip going through. As you can see here, it says ripping. And right over here in the corner, we have our percentage. And it's kind of jamming through this pretty quick. So we're going to wait for that to go. And then next up is going to be the image 8 or issue 8. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see both of those here in just a second. I'm just going to give this a minute. And um, when you do rip, you do have an uh, option in the very beginning to keep your buffer jobs or delete them. I'd say always keep them up to a certain amount before you go ahead and you know release them and or delete them out of your system. Totally up to you. But uh, if you're if you're printing the same things typically often or you have some standard types, it's good to keep those in hand. All right, so we're almost done ripping. 73, we're moving along through here. And that'll do it. Image processed successfully. All right, now these are our rip jobs in the uh, jobs ready to print bar. This is our printer up here. Now, as you can tell, it's kind of giving us an idea of what we're about to do. So this is showing both of the issue 9, issue 8. So it shows you the two files, but it doesn't give you a preview. 
simply because it takes a lot of memory to do that. I do think you have an option with certain uh, programs to see, but this is working out just fine. So we're actually going to change a few things here. Typically when I set up, I like to make sure that my rolls are set up correctly. This is a 54 inch roll, clause final, all that looks fine. I'm just going to go into setup real quick. General, under here, I like to make sure it's centered, especially if it's a brand new roll. I like to make sure I'm using as much media as I can. Um, offsets, but you really don't need to worry about offsets or flipping right now. I'm just going to go over it in the options. Right now it's set up to best fit and allow rotate, which I'm going to leave as it is because that looks fine the way it is. Uh, but the space between I'm going to change. Um, I like to give myself a little bit more room in between. Uh, typically because when I run a knife for um, separating these prints, I want to make sure I have a little bit more to work with. So I'm just going to add two inches in there. And hit OK. Everything else is fine. Hit OK. And then you'll notice my preview here change and give me that gap that I want. And it's all equal all the way around. And we're going to go ahead and print now.